This video is brought to you by the Raven Space Patreon page. Without your help, we cannot do any of the cool things we do. So Patreon allows you to support us and support independent media. And when you support us, we support you by giving you early access to videos, special giveaways, and even Ravens tickets. So check out the Raven Space Patreon and support today. Welcome to the Raven Space on YouTube. My name is Jason and this is Raven Space Daily, where we talk about Baltimore Ravens news every single weekday. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We have three great news stories and a great mailbag topic. So please subscribe to the Raven Space on YouTube if you're not yet subscribed for the best Baltimore Ravens content on the internet. Also, a special shout out to our Patreon subscribers because without you guys, none of this is possible. So thank you guys so much. And we're going to move on to the first topic of the day, which talks about John Harbaugh's contract extension. Um, if you guys did not know, uh, the Ravens uh, have agreed to give John Harbaugh an extension that goes into the 2019 season. Um, a lot of people were saying that John Harbaugh was in trouble about getting fired. And a lot of people were very, very pessimistic about John, saying he was on the hot seat. Um, I know there's some people who don't like John. Me personally, I think he's a great coach, one of the most winningest coaches in the NFL uh, currently today. Uh, so I think that keeping him is a good idea. Now, I do want to give some caution, some stuff for the naysayers that grab onto. You got to remember that Brian Billick also had a contract extension the same year he was fired. Um, now, things are a little different. A lot of people didn't like Billick toward the end of that stint because he was being a little bit too cute in the play calling. Uh, it was one time where he had a second and one, a third and one, and a fourth and one, and he passed on all three downs. Um, again, it's and that was when football was a very, very run-heavy sport. Um, and so stuff like that is not good, of course, and that got him fired and other things, you know, Kyle Bowler, one of those things. And so got him fired. John is not like that. Uh, anything that happens to John is, is, is not really his fault. Either he has an up and down season um, and that happens in this league. Uh, but I just think that him as a coach is a good coach and the Ravens make a right decision if they keep him. And I think this is the first step in showing the NFL and everybody that, hey, we have confidence in our guy and he's our guy to the very end. So let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, I, I think John Harbaugh is a great coach. Um, this will be the, one of the questions of the day that I'll put and pin it to the top of the comments. Do you think John Harbaugh is a good coach? Uh, are you happy about this extension? Let me know. Um, we're going to move on to the second story. It's a sad story, a story that I think greatly hurts the Baltimore Ravens. Um, and it's about Albert McClellan. So Albert McClellan was injured um, at practice and he tore his ACL. And now he's out for the entire season. Again, I think this is tragic. Um, and when I say tragic, I know he wasn't a starter, but he was a special teamer um, that gave great depth. I mean, he's so good at special teams, in my opinion. Uh, he's been to Pro Bowls, I believe, for special teams. So very, very great special teams player. And on top of that, he was depth for players like C.J. Mosley. Um, he could play both middle linebacker positions and there's even times they had him playing outside linebacker positions not really much of a pass rusher as a whole but he's a he's a guy that can play every single linebacker position and so losing this depth really hurts players um in the nfl you want to find players that can do multiple things so having a player that was great on special teams and can be a fill-in for every single position is something great um now the play of some younger players like uh, Ansuar, uh minimizes his role a little bit on defense, but I still think that he has tremendous value as a mentor um, and definitely as a special teamer. And now this sucks. He's one of many Raven players to be injured. Um, and there's nothing that we can say. The injury bug has bitten the Ravens. Uh, I think we're the most injury riddled team in the NFL. And it's just sad to see. I wish it was not like that, but of course it has to be. So that's that was that story again another sad story let me know in the comments how you feel about Albert McClellan um, I think he's a great special teamer I think he's an okay defensive player but I think that the ability to play multiple positions for the Baltimore Ravens is something that was a strength of his so we're gonna move on to the third story and this is the feel-good story of the day Joe Flacco uh, was throwing the football and he's performing football activities 
Uh, this was stated by John Harbaugh, who said that Joe Flacco was throwing again, um, and he's confident that Joe Flacco will be ready against the Bengals. I am too. Um, I think if Joe really did have a problem, that there would be more, more panic, more franticness. Everyone at the, in the Ravens organization is kind of just taking it like, okay, Joe's injured, but he'll be back, so we had nothing to worry about. So Ryan Mallett's fine. It's okay. Uh, Woodrum, even though he played better, we'll just, you know, keep Mallet, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think if they were really afraid of Joe, I think Colin would be in the building. If they were really afraid uh, that Joe Flacco was hurt, I think Colin Kaepernick would be in the building. So this shows me that they really are confident he'll be back. Um, and I think Joe Flacco's confident he'll be back. Now, he's just throwing. And so, you know, he may be doing a little bit of throwing drills as in football activities. So high step throw, different things like that. Um um, but this is always good news. It's the first good news that we've heard about Joe Flacco. Um, now, he's throwing the ball with, like, the kids and stuff like that. But this is the first time I believe he's doing drills that involve throwing the football. So, that's a good thing. Um, and we'll move on to the mailbag. Like we do every episode, we answer a question from you guys, the Raven Space family. So, thank you guys so much for sending in questions. And if you want to send in your question, please send it to mailbag at the ravenspace.com and this question comes from luke and luke asks i've been a big fan of zadarius smith and in my opinion he's had a very good preseason do you think he'll make the team thank you so much for your question luke um and i do think he'll make the team um and there's a couple reasons why one um outside linebacker is a position where there's two of them and so you can get more bench players, right? For example, a quarterback, holding four quarterbacks on your roster is idiotic, right? Because, you know, only one can play at a time. And if you're a good team, you don't want to be taking 100% of the snaps. So versus a linebacker where you need people to come in and out and you have two people on the right and the left, right? And I think Zadarius can play both. Um, now, the issue with Zadarius is that he has potential, but he's not hitting his potential. Um, you saw a player like, Matt Zudon come in and just take his spot easily um, and it, Zudon shows that he has enormous potential every time he's on the field you see him running around and you don't see that from Zadarius I was a big fan of him as well but he fell off his second season so much that it made me nervous I didn't think he was a good player so it's just you never know with these players I think he will make this team Luke um, just because he adds depth He's been here for three years now. Um, again, you never know what you have with rookies. So you need someone to, you know, take Suggs out every now and then. So I think, and I think he's ahead of Tim Williams right now. To be honest, I think he's ahead of Tim Williams. I do not think he's ahead of Tyus Bowser, the way Tyus has been playing. Um, he's definitely not ahead of Suggs or Zidane. But I think he's ahead of Tim Williams. So I think that the Ravens will carry uh, him as the very last linebacker because I think they need the depth, and I think they still have hope that he can emerge and be a good pass rusher for the Baltimore Ravens. So uh, thank you so much for your question, Luke. And that is the end of today's episode. Thank you guys so much. Please subscribe to the Raven Space on YouTube if you're not yet subscribed. Also, if you want to help support independent media, check out our Patreon page in the description below. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys here tomorrow, and go Ravens.